Hey everyone, to my and welcome to another Nikkei video. So finally, the massive, massive half anniversary patch is about to drop and we have just received the in-game patch note for it. So let's take a look. Well, first things first, the time that the patch will actually take place is on the 27th, 7 a.m. Japan time. Now, this is on the 26th for a lot of people, myself included. So on my channel, I've set up the viewer polls. Of course, we'll do viewer polls for Dorothy as soon as the patch comes live, and this will be adjusted to your local time zone. So you can check out my channel's live stream section for that. And now, the Dorothy banner is unfortunately 1%. So I think uh, some people saw the intern Kun leaks and it said 2%. Uh, but what happened is I think they copy and pasted, obviously, the uh, the friendship banner stuff. But uh, it says 4% chance of recruiting SSR Nikkei. And it's 1% uh, one chance for Dorothy. So our pilgrim banner still remains to be 1%. But at least you can still use the 200 golden mileage ticket. And she will be added. She will be added to the banner after in terms of the normal pool. Okay. And uh, Dorothy will be available in the ordinary recruitment and from mold items. So that's good at least. She's not a limited pilgrim. And uh, I think in this, yes, in this patch, uh, make sure that you do your events. Because of course, I always get people not completing their events as the maintenance goes live. So make sure you do your events on that 26th or 27th reset earlier to avoid missing out on the goodies. But Dorothy is 1%. This, I think, drastically changes a bit of the planning. I think priority-wise, you definitely want to use the Golden Mileage ticket if you don't want to try your luck um, because we do have near collaboration coming up, of course. And uh, collab, even though limited, has their rate at 2% versus Pilgrims at 1%. So you might have to consider that. And if you're still not sure, again, tune into the stream. We'll do testing. We'll do one copy testing, max limit break testing, and potentially core seven testing. Not sure about core seven at the moment if it's 1% because that Moldernia PTSD still kicks in. And we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Now, SSRA is also coming out. We'll get essentially four copies. One in mail, two from Overzone, and one from the login, giving us a total of a free SSR that will be max limit broken for you to get over the 160 wall. The new costumes, Alice and Viper. Alice is in the uh, Wonderlands Pass, and Viper is in the May Mission Pass. Now, we haven't seen anything about Viper just yet, and apparently it's lewd enough, all right? It's lewd and cultured enough for it to be censored across all of the anniversary, half anniversary streams. Not even JP showed it. Only a silhouette. So I'm expecting some top, top-notch cultured skin. So I'm very excited for that. And of course, we've got the new Overzone, uh, which uh, they've been heavily advertising for it on their official Twitter. I think the new Overzone is essentially uh, the event, but it gives you that story about uh, pre-Arc, before Arc was completely built and all that stuff, and how Dorothy actually was on the side of humanity saving us and guarding the entrance. Um, and we find out, you know, we get to find out what happened to turn her like this. Um, but, you know, I bet they're going to make the store really, really good and touching. So now everyone wants a copy of Dorothy. That's, that's definitely what's going to happen. Now, we've got three parts to the story. This is a massive story one, story two. So all these two are all story parts. And then we've got the challenge stage, which I'm going to guess it's for mostly resources which is fantastic and we still get a mini game on top of that white memory so this is i think the first time we've had this type of mini game where you explore it like a visual novel based on choices i do think they showcase it on their um on their um half anniversary story let me see if i can yeah there we go let's take a look here so this is the white memory um uh, You've got all the different choices. It's like a visual novel. You got the story. And apparently there are 21 endings. 21 endings to this, as they say. 21 endings. So I'm very curious to see what goes on. And uh, if it's a new mini game that we'll fall in love with. Uh, <laughs> now, we also have the 14-day login event, which, uh, again, we're guaranteed loads of goodies, which I'm always very, very happy to see. And all in all, we'll get 57 recruitment opportunities and uh, SSR Ray included. If you haven't watched my video on it already explaining over where the uh, income is from, you can check it out. Of course, it's this video right here, 57 total polls and where they are going to come from. 
Now, new gameplay, chapter 1 and chapter 22. This is going to be extremely fun. I'm actually featured in chapter 21. If you guys didn't know, this is me. All right. <laughs> I am in chapter 21. And uh, we'll get to see more story building, I think, for Dorothy. If they really want to sell her. <laughs> we also got the solo raid coming up. So solo raid will open in on May 11th. So this is quite a while back, giving us opportunities to build our team, allowing new players to get adjusted to the dailies. And uh, this is going to be very good because we'll get new Harmony Cubes. New Harmony Cubes should be coming out as we saw on the live stream for um, the solo raid. And I'm curious to see if we get upgrade materials for older Harmony Cubes. Then this would lessen the pressure for us needing to buy from the Union Raid. And then we can use a Union Raid currency to buy dupes for our Liberation targets. Now, we also have Lost Sectors. I need to remember to do them more Lost Sectors 14, 15, EX4, and EX5. Wondering if we will get new stuff out of that. And of course, the actual Union Raid. Not Solo Raid, but also Union Raid, which is happening before the Solo Raid on the 28th. Prepare to not sleep again if you're in Try Hard Union. Uh, but if you are not, then um, just take it easy. Full auto. <laughs> uh, new commodities. We've got, as we said, the Alice Wonderland Pass. The May Pass, which has Viper's Toxic Rabbit Skin. And new packages. Now... Half anniversary pack will include a new T9 manufacturer equipment box, so we've had it before, and a new step up package that includes SSR guaranteed manufacturer mold selection box. So I wonder if this is going to be similar to remember how we had, uh, if you go to the shop, if you go into the shop and check out the pity uh, exchange, you'll see here, right? Before this wasn't. All right, this was not uh, the character icon. It was a character and then the mold icon next to it. If you all, remember all the way from Helm's banner, it wasn't just the icon of Helm. It was Helm icon with the mold next to it. So I wonder if this new um, update with the new package guaranteed manufacturer mold selection box is going to be like that where we can select one manufacturer and get 100% SSR out of that manufacturer or if we actually just get a selector. I hope we get a selector. I really, really hope we get a selector because that will be much better than getting a uh, manufacturer's random, right? Because uh, sometimes you just don't want the other dupes you already have. But anyhow, let me know your thoughts on this patch note. Again, hefty, hefty half anniversary patch coming out. Super, super excited. Let's hope, Moldernia, pray for me. Let's hope we don't have a repeat of your banner for Dorothy because I really want to core 7 her, but with Nier coming up, I need to plan ahead, of course. And um, yeah, we will see. We'll see. Stay tuned for the viewer polls. We're going to do a lot of testing on that. So anyhow, it's Tomias here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye now.